Hi there, my beautiful Aries Taurus. Welcome into your reading. So today we are talking about February and what is going on in your career, in your love life, uh, some self-care for you. And we're going to start here with your overall energy. So we are live today on Patreon. And at the end of each live, we usually answer a personal question from the chat if there's anyone there. And uh, if you want to have the chance to get a personal question answered, uh, definitely join us patreon all right the link is going to be down below but let's get started here with your overall energy for aries taurus whoopsie all right so bottom deck we have conflict which is the card that flipped we have twin flame we have interference and past life okay so this kind of feels like there is some sort of past life cycle here that is not allowing you to progress in some sort of way especially with this conflict right here it's almost like this could literally be a third party whether this is about love or uh career it doesn't matter this is my love deck so uh, yeah um of course it, it has more of a connotation towards love but don't take it literally but it does appear that there is some sort of third party here getting in the way of your dreams getting in the way of something that you want to achieve and it could be causing you this confusion this inner conflict is this something I'm really compatible with? Is this something really for me, really aligned with me? Could be causing a little bit of um, indecision or I would even say like a little bit of anxiety because it's almost like your heart is pulling you in a certain direction, but your mind is pulling you to another. So that's really interesting. But when it comes to your career, I definitely feel like there's something about your life purpose, something about the path that you're really supposed to be following that is maybe blocked, right? It does appear that this is a bit of a blocked month, um, but you could perhaps work through these blocks as the month goes. But um, when it comes to love, this could definitely be a twin flame if you resonate with that. Uh, if not, it's just like a soulmate that you are connecting with. But it does appear that there is some sort of past life uh, wound, past life cycle here that needs to be over for you to be able to be together okay so let's dive a little deeper into that and get a bit more information let's start with love with love with career sorry i already pre-shuffled a few cards here for you we have this and not a true with the golf and spirit number 20 in case that means anything to you but we also have here lobster financial pinch and then we have elephant a long journey either physical or mental will leave you wiser at the end so there's almost this feeling of I'm kind of I'm kind of getting this has two parallel paths and it's not that one is better than the other it's something that you can zigzag on and what I mean with this is that I feel like you could have multiple ideal paths for you or multiple paths that are open and available for you let's say this is about uh, that third party interference that is not allowing you to be on the path that you want to go um, it could be that you know you have this dream your heart is pulling you in a certain way and you have this dream that you really want to do, maybe it's a bit more unstable and your parents don't support it. And then you have this side of the coin, which is the, what your parents truly want you to pursue. And maybe you're even in this place of, well, maybe I won't be like miserable, but it's not really like my dream, but I'm okay, right? Uh, and take this however it applies. It could also be that, oh, I would really love to pursue this, but it's new and I need the money. And this is good money, but it's, it's not satisfying me, right? And so it's almost like you have two paths for you. And I feel like you can zigzag through them. So let's say that you want to be um, something more of a creative thing or you would like to be an influencer. You would like to, to have something that you don't necessarily need this big degree or something like that. And then on the other hand, your parents would love you to be like this amazing doctor or lawyer or whatever. Uh, it's almost like you can have both. You can go towards this path and you don't necessarily hate it. But you can also start this little side hustle just for fun. Start it as a hobby and then if you're able to monetize it, great. right? If you are wanting to be a painter, start painting for a hobby or has a hobby. And then if you can, like monetize it, search for it, be open to it. right? And let's say this is that, that other second possibility or scenario let's call it where you would love to pursue this but it's from the start it's it's from scratch you have to start your own business it's it's not guaranteed money from the get-go uh and you have this which is very stable money 
maybe not the thing you most enjoy to do, you can have both, right? Do this right after you go out of, you get out of work, start doing this, start investing in your new business, right? It's like you can have both. And I feel like this is going to be a long journey. I feel like this is going to require a lot out of you. So it's going to be important for you to um, take good care of yourself. Be sure that you were, you know, diving into the self-care, into the self-love, all of those things. And um, be sure that you, you don't forget about yourself, okay? But definitely start investing in this, okay? With this financial pinch, it could be that um, this maybe is where you were. And what you've been experiencing. And this month maybe things get a little lighter. I feel like you start seeing the, the light at the end of the tunnel. So you may still be a little bit of financial constraint. But it's okay. Wait. I can make this. And maybe you've gained already some knowledge on how to budget. How to manage it better. Um, I feel like things are going to ease up in some sort of way. It may not be like this huge ease up. Where before you, you were really restrictive. And then all of a sudden you're able to buy a Bugatti, <laughs> it's not like that, but things could ease up a little bit, okay, especially I feel like when it comes to hope, but let's pull some tarot here to see what this career situation is about, we have the eight of swords over here, and then we have the six of pentacles, seven of wands, and the knight of pentacles, so there we go, this is essentially saying what we have been talking about, I feel like there's something about you investing your time towards things that may not even bring monetary reward straight away because with the six of pentacles that is the charity card so it's someone that gives just for the sake of giving it's someone that is just there like hey here you go i think you need this and that is that is usually how business starts right it's like hey i'm just putting my work out there if you like it come get it right uh you put your work out there without expecting anything in return but hoping you would get anything in return um and I feel like there's that there's that message of keep going, keep building something more solid, something that takes you where you really want to go. And it doesn't have to happen overnight. It's not going to happen overnight. But the key here is going to be not give up. It's going to be this zigzag between the two paths. Okay, they're parallel, they're doable. It's just, it's almost like, I don't know if you're, I'm, I'm a country girl, so <laughs> I don't know if you're uh if you have like those fields where it's like all grass and everything and then you have like two tire stray lines right and you can either be on this side and or on this side so you don't get like mixed up with a with all of that uh grass and everything uh and and plants and all those things it's a little bit like that it's the same freaking road but in the middle there's a little grass that separates things a little bit and it could be here it could be here but you're going to go on the same you're going to get there all the same, okay? So it's a little bit of what is coming through here for you this month. Start investing in your projects, start investing in your dreams, but continue to invest in the things that you already have, okay? And definitely work through, yeah, eight of wands, temperance, believe. There's something about work through your believing um, beliefs, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Uh, I feel like it's about working on believing a little more, working on being a bit more hopeful and knowing that you deserve the best so you should get the best okay all right let's get here just a card of advice for you before we move into love a win-win outcome is forecast this is beautiful and we also have bring love into the situation i really feel like you need to bring your heart into career and know that both paths are going to lead to this positive outcome right it's like this is a win this is a win both are doable and this, I feel like, would be especially relevant if you're between two companies, if you're between two um, businesses, like two ideas that you would like to create, if you're between uh, any of those scenarios that I've already said, it's like everything is doable, right? Maybe if you're between two companies, it could be working has um, a part-time, one for each, right? <laughs> uh, whatever, whatever applies, but both scenarios bring a lot of good uh, positive rewards okay so don't be too hard on yourself try to be open to everything that is bringing that is coming in to into your life and believe that you deserve what what do you what do you, all the, the things that you're receiving essentially the words today are kind of clumsy <laughs> but bear with me uh let's get here into love and see what you can expect we have the electric eel 
eagle uh eagle the actual eel spirit uh give light to your ideas with the number 24 so the 20s of february could be quite relevant here we have a dog protection from a powerful friend and we have um dark women dealings or relationship with a woman with dark hair or complexion it was the other way around but yeah so um when it comes to love i actually feel like i want to take the terror out a little sooner but this almost gives me this feeling of first of all if you're trying to manifest love I feel like you could be manifesting this beautiful lover, right? This beautiful soulmate here. And with this bring life uh, or give life to your ideas. Uh, you can manifest that one true love. You can manifest this new beginning in, in cycle. However, it is important for you to look within yourself. Because I feel like there are a few wounds. There are a few things that you still need to heal. And this could also be related to past life stuff. So if you're interested in doing a past life regression, definitely recommend. Um... Because it could help you figure out what is going on here. What is blocking me in love and that kind of thing. Um, and so that is one of the things. Is that if you're trying to manifest love. I feel like you you also. You still need to look out for yourself. And give yourself love. But you also need to look deep within. Into your wounds and insecurities and all those things. You are protected. And I feel like your guides are really wanting to bring forward. This beautiful person and lover. Um, but you need to take care of yourself a little bit. Okay. If you're already connecting with someone. Uh, I'm getting two scenarios here. I'm getting one where there's hesitation and there's this, maybe not anxiety, but there's this kind of, uh, I don't know, this is person like me back. Uh, I don't know, is this going to work? That kind of thing. There's like a little, a little fear there uh, at the bottom. And there are a couple of things. Where is that fear coming from? Is it coming from within you? Or is it a, f a reflection of someone outside of you? Because with this dark woman and protection from a powerful friend, it could it could give this idea of, oh, I'm trying to make this relationship work, but my friend doesn't really like this person. So mm, I don't know. And when in fact you're being protected by your guides when it comes to this, right? And this person is exactly what you've been looking for. So pay attention to who you're listening to and if they're affecting your ideas and beliefs and worries and fears in any way. Okay, let's pull some tarot here and see what we got for love for you. Oh, wow, look at that. We have the nine of pentacles. We have the eight of pentacles, the sun, and then we have the two of cups. This is really nice. Really, really nice. I really feel like let's put something straight this is the most freaking awesome relationship ever <laughs> i feel like this is exactly what we've been looking for this is you know the ideas that you were trying to brew and blossom into your life um i feel like you've been working really hard on yourself and that's something to maintain okay it is important that this independence stays there so even if you're already seeing someone keep dating yourself keep having time for yourself to you know just Appreciate yourself in some some way, something that only you and yourself can do, okay? And I really feel like with the sun here, we have Leo energy, and that is basically everything that's showing up. Uh, maybe some water signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But I feel like this is a relationship that brings a lot of joy, a lot of happiness, a lot of good vibes. And this is not a relationship to bring you down, to suck your energy. This is not old cycles. These are new, good really amazing cycles okay and this is a relationship worth investing that's something that i feel like you should know for this month um and i feel like there there it comes with this three of pentacles and the hanged man is there anyone kind of making a question outside of this relationship that just gives a little a little i don't know are, are you sure you know just a, just a little annoying voice is there anyone that's something to look out for okay it's your relationship yours and your and your partners and or yours and this person if you're not together yet it's up to you to make it happen it's not to other people to approve it to allow it nothing it's up to you okay so in the end just know that this is a beautiful partnership if you're not official yet there could be an officializing officialization happening here this month absolutely um 
and this this appears to be very joyful very worth putting in the effort very independent and empowering so dive into it okay what is the advice here when it comes to love confidence is your key to success yeah the answers you need are coming i feel like you may already have this idea of mm, okay maybe it's this person if it is something internal pay attention to your dreams the answers are going to be there if you need a little help ask for that help from your guides they will show you the way and they will tell you hey this is what you need to heal okay ask for signs is this really my person show me an elephant you're going to see that elephant right but confidence in yourself knowing that you deserve love confidence in the relationship knowing what this relationship is and how it truly feels being objective while listening to your heart that is the key to the success of this relationship so don't let other people get in the way it's all up to you and this person okay but this has a great potential so please don't get up no don't give up on it there we go uh but let's get here into your self-care that you can indulge in this month and then we're going to finish up with some fun stuff that you can do um with someone else by yourself whatever you prefer all right but we have over here passion we have grounding reflexology and crystal healing and i'm even getting um feel things more i don't know if some of you have like anxiety or something but um concentrate on the things that you feel you may be a very tactful person so concentrate on the things that you feel maybe uh, wearing a crystal with you um amethyst great great for anxiety and and stress and all those things uh carry one with you feel it when you're feeling a little bit more anxious or uh choose a crystal for whatever you want to heal or work through whenever you're feeling a little bit more anxious whenever you're trying to heal and work through those things if you're going on a date wear a crystal with you i feel like it could really help okay uh but then spend a lot of time in nature that is also important and please follow your passions okay but let's get here some fun stuff for you so we can finish this up all right so we have board game cafe we have dance in the rain uh cook a new dish play video games photo shoot and then we have gardening there we go we'd spend time in nature right but with that being said, feel free to pause this uh, and screenshot this if you want to, uh, so you can get a little reminder of things to do uh, throughout the month. But this is what I have for you, my Aries story. So I really hope this resonated and helped somehow. If it did, don't forget to smash the like button for me and subscribe if you haven't already. I would really love to have you here for a lot more cusp readings and cusp content. And yeah, so if you're interested in checking out that Patreon, prior readings, merch, all of those links are going to be down below. And that's it. So I love you very much. I wish you the best. And hopefully we'll talk very, very soon.